This animation is going to highlight Lamarck's theory of evolution by acquired characteristics. So we have two twins. One is called Barry, the other is called Bob. Now these twins are genetically identical, okay? So they're the same genetically. But their lifestyles are very, very different, okay? So Barry likes to lift weights. This makes him incredibly strong, but at the same time, it also gives him a lot of muscles. Okay, he's a very fit individual. Bob, on the other hand, doesn't really do anything. Okay, he just sits around all day eating. This makes him very, very overweight. Now, both twins are married to separate women. Okay, and their wives both become pregnant. Lamarck would say that Barry's baby will be very muscular and strong, whilst Bob's baby will be very obese and lazy because this is the way their fathers are and these traits will be passed on to them. However, we know this isn't the case because somebody who may lose their arm in their lifetime will still have children with two arms. Okay, they don't have them with one. So Barry and Bob's children will be normal. They won't be overweight nor muscular. Okay, so let's take a look at Darwin's theory of evolution. We begin with an island which is inhabited by predominantly white plants. Okay, On the island are also cats. Now the cats blend into the background because they're white. Okay, So they're more camouflaged and more likely to catch their prey. But there's different variants of cats. Okay, Some have blue spots, some have yellow, some have green, some have none at all. Okay, So... Darwin's theory of evolution states that because the cats that are all white are more likely to be blended into their environment, they're less likely to be seen by their prey, so they're more likely to catch them. So they're more likely to survive, i.e. not starve, and pass their genes on to the next generation. Okay, so the white cats do really well. But now let's suppose that part of the island starts to be inhabited mainly by blue plants, okay? And on this part of the island, we still find all types of cat. But because it's blue, the blue cats are now more likely to catch their prey because they camouflage more. So the cats in this area, progressively over millions of years, become more blue. The bluer they are, the more likely they are to catch their prey. So the really blue cats survive, so they become blue. Whilst at the same time, on the other side of the island, yellow plants start to be predominantly found so as we see on the animation now the the side of the island is becoming more yellow however on this side of the island we still find all the types of variants in the cat species we've got blue we've got uh, green we've got yellow okay but because it's yellow the yellow cats are more likely to be camouflaged and catch their prey, so they don't starve to death. So over thousands of millions of years, the cats become more and more yellow. Okay? So in the middle, we have this white section, okay? This is where all the variants of cats are still found. However, because it's white, the cats slowly become more white, because the white species of cats survive and pass their genes on to the next generation.